growth hacks for YouTube channel growth. Stefan, talk to me specifically right now. I'm at 25,000. I want to get to 100,000. What are some hacks? What are some things I can do? Some little, you know, ninja tricks to help me get there. Yeah. So I think, you know, one of the core strategies is, um, like an SEO optimization. So YouTube is a search engine. It's the second biggest one in the world after Google. So you have to make sure that you are optimizing your content, your videos for highly searched keyword terms. So I always make sure that every video that I publish, you want to optimize it for a primary keyword that keywords got to be in the title. The earlier that keyword is in the title, the more that you get a benefit of the ranking of that. I make sure I optimize the description. So the description, I usually write a few paragraphs about what that video is about and then make sure that keyword is in the description at least three times. And then also the tags as well and the raw file name. So when you actually upload the video to YouTube, you wanna make sure that you rename the raw file name and you upload it so that it has the keyword in the file name as well. A big part of my strategy though is really looking to see what's already working, what's trending. So I'll, if I have an idea for a topic or a keyword, I'm searching that on YouTube and I'm seeing what's coming up. How many views are these other videos getting? You know, if I come across a keyword and it's getting hundreds of thousands of views for these other videos or millions of views, then I know that there's something really good there, you know, and I can kind of backwards engineer to see what they're doing so that I can implement that and create a similar title. I can look at their thumbnail. I can kind of get different elements and nuggets from that that can help uh, with the process of creating it. I also like to take, um, like I use uh, some tools that I can give you, you know, you, for you and your audience is TubeBuddy. Okay. So TubeBuddy is great. It's a, a Google Chrome extension and uh, they have a whole suite of tools for YouTubers. Another one is called VidIQ. And so what it actually allows you to do is it allows you to actually see the tags that other YouTube videos are using. So I can see what tags they're using and I can take some of those and add them to my video. It will also auto suggest different tags. And I also like to see, you know, if I'm doing a video on, uh, let's say it's like a, a morning ritual video or something around self-development, I could also, and you know, I look to see Tony Robbins and Brian Tracy and all these other people have a video like that as well. Then I'll put their names also in the tag so that YouTube knows that my video is relevant to theirs and it can auto suggest it or it can suggest it next to their video um, when people are going through it. So the optimization aspects are very important. Um, other things that have really helped me grow has been promoting the videos a lot, especially within the first, you know, as soon as it's being released within the first hour, um, the more likes and views and watch time and engagement it gets within that first hour, the, the, the faster it's going to get that benefit and that boost. So we always make sure that our videos, we, when, once we publish it, we send it out to the email list and we're trying to send people to the video. Uh, we promote it on our social media. We're adding it to our Instagram stories uh, and asking people to swipe up an Instagram to go over to the video and watch it. Uh, YouTube now has YouTube stories and YouTube post. So they're kind of trying to compete with an Instagram. So with YouTube stories, the story will last up to seven days, but it's another way to notify and reach your audience. So we'll put up a little video or a little image telling, telling our audience there's a new video out to watch it in the, in the feed post on YouTube. We'll post and link to the video so that people can come back to the video as well. So there's a lot of post promotion that you want to do with it uh, just to get as many eyeballs and views on the video as possible. And then you, you want to get people to turn on notifications. So one thing that we've been testing is giving away Amazon gift cards and leaving it in a pinned comment in our YouTube description and basically telling people when they watch our videos uh, to turn on notifications because every video we're leaving five Amazon gift cards in the description, first come first serve. So it incentivizes people to show up and turn on notifications and come to your video right when it's being released so that they can claim the Amazon gift cards. So we usually, we know our audience like 40% is in the United States. So we'll throw in like three, amazon.com gift cards and we'll just put in the code and someone can just take that and redeem it and we'll put in like .co.uk, Canada, Australia. Um, and so that, that's been a great way too to get people to turn on notifications, come to that video right away and get a big boost from it. We've also been doing a lot of giveaways. Um, it's great that every time maybe you hit 10,000 subscribers or 100,000 subscribers, 
you do a giveaway. Um, so I like to use Gleam for this, gleam.io. Well, green as in the color? Uh, no, Gleam, G-L-E-A-M dot uh, I-O. Got it. Yeah, so you can basically do a giveaway and we've been giving away iPads and Kindles and GoPros and some of my courses and swag and merchandise. And uh, it's a way that people can enter in multiple ways. So one way that they can enter is to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Another way they could enter is to watch this video and leave a comment, follow you on Instagram, opt into your list. So you give them multiple different ways to enter, but that, that's something you can promote to your list. You can promote it everywhere and that will increase the overall subscriber account that you'll get. Um, so that's been great too. And then, you know, really the other strategy is collaborate with other people, collaborate with other YouTubers, go on their channel, have them on your channel. Um, you know, uh, tap into each other's audiences. One thing that I've done successfully with some and with my fiance, she has a YouTube channel. We'll do a video together, like, like 10, 10 strategies for building a business, right? And then we'll create two different videos. One video will be the first five strategies that are on my channel. The second one is the other five strategies on her channel. And so what we'll do is we'll publish one on my channel and we'll say at the end to get the other five strategies Here's a link to Tatiana's channel. You got to click through and watch it. And then she's publishing it also on her channel, those five strategies and sending people to my channel to watch the rest of that too. So there's kind of strategies like that, which can be pretty powerful. That that's a really cool strategy. I like that to collaborate. I never actually understood what that means to collaborate. So that is a really perfect example of it. Now, what about things like, well, actually, I've got one question I've been forgetting to ask and again and again, so I don't want to forget. How often should I be posting videos right now? You know, if I'm trying to really get out there and, and kind of boost my channel and waking it up a little bit, what do you think? As many as possible. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I publish three a week and three. there's a point where I was publishing five to seven a week. Um, one piece of advice that I got from a top YouTuber that has millions of subscribers is make it your goal to publish three times a day. And I, I'm not at that level yet. You know, obviously you can't compromise the quality of things when you're uh, going to that level, but the more that you publish, the more seeds that you're planting, the more potential reach that it has. I would say, you know, just identify something you can commit to once a week would be the minimum. I'd say uh, three times a week, I think is great. Like I do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday typically. And that helps your audience know what your schedule is and when to come back for the videos too. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, I kind of toned down how much I was publishing because I was kind of just putting out content for the sake of putting out content. It wasn't my best content. It wasn't really adding as value as much as I'd like. And so I toned it down to three a week, which is manageable for me. And I'm really trying to be more strategic about the videos. So again, don't try to get too caught up in that, you know, more is better. Um, being strategic, spending that time to research and create the thumbnail and optimize the video and really know the topic and audience and promote the video. Um, I think once you have a good system down for that, then you can scale up to eventually do more and more. Wow. All right. Um, three a day, Joe, you ready for that? That, that is, you know, I, I've noticed also, like I've seen, for example, you've done a lot of things with Dan Locke and Dan's a good friend and I've watched his YouTube channel just friggin' explode um, over the last year, year and a half. And, but I mean, he, he's got content. It's like 1200 videos or something on that page, if I remember correctly. It's, it's, it's pretty nuts. I'm, I'm sitting at 100 over the last like 15 years. And so, wow. All right. Listen, when I asked for growth hack, you gave me growth hack. I got a lot of stuff I need to do here. I love a couple of the ones I really want to highlight. I didn't realize that YouTube now has YouTube posts and YouTube stories. That is interesting. want to look into that. Um, I love the idea of the pinned comment to try to get people to hit notify so that there's like a the greed factor to get people to run back to your video when you post it. Gleam.io. By the way, if you're watching this right now, all of these URLs, we've been over like TubeBuddy and Vit, uh, VidIQ and Gleam.io and all kinds of other great things that we've learned. It's all in the show notes. Go over to onikpodcast.com, A-N-I-K podcast.com. It's all there. Don't have to, you know, if you're driving or whatever, don't have to panic and try to write it down. We have it. We have you covered. Um, just some some tremendous stuff here. Uh, collaborate, you know, just work with other people and post half the content on yours and the other half on the other people. 
um, or on the other person's uh, YouTube channel. Powerful stuff. Thank you so much, man. I want to move right on into the next um, into the next round. If you're good with it, I want to talk a little bit about monetization. <laughs> 